Hey guys, it's Richie here from Mustang Auto Parts. We've got this beautiful Pantera built by Lane of Classic Service and Repair. Tell us a little bit about this thing, man. It's a 71 Pantera imported uh, back in 2012. So yeah, it's taken a long time to finish. It's all original, the original numbers matching engine and transaxle. But I just wanted to do something a little bit different, but keep the original body lines. We've got um, a custom uh, exhaust and headers made coming over the top instead of underneath like the conventional Panteras. It looks amazing like that with the pipe work on show. Yeah, it's, uh, I, th I think, you know, with, with the Clevelands, they sound so good with a set of headers and a really good exhaust. And I think, um, you know, something like this is just uh, a little bit showier. Yeah. <laughs> Who did the pipe work for you? And that was done by Craig at Custom Extreme Engineering. Okay. Um, he did that, that, well, that was probably five years ago, something <laughs> like that, but he did that and he also did, um, fabricated the, the custom twin fuel tanks. Yep. So the conventional Pantera fuel tanks are just a single on the, the left hand side. I wanted to do it so that there were twins, a little bit more fuel capacity, and it's also got like so you can fill the yep. sign. I'd always wanted to build a, um, a GD40 um, and maybe the Pantera is probably about as close as I'm going to go with, with that kind of configuration. There's, there's been a few built over in the States now, um, which I, I sort of just jokingly say to the people that know me, yeah, well I started it because I got this, you know, like <laughs> five years before everybody else started. but. I just took my time, so yeah. it, it's just unique, and they, they got you know beautiful lines, considering that you know they were designed back in the 60s, late mm. 60s. So. Tell us a little bit about the number plate. Actually, the number plate was a, a last-minute thing. It was just a, an afterthought. Um, so instead of running a single four-barrel carb. Mm -hmm. Um, part of the upgrade that I wanted to do is do the stack injection EFI. So that's uh, an EFI hardware um, injection system and um, running a Haltech uh, ECU. Yep. And yeah, so being eight stack, eight, eight stack. stack. Yep, makes sense. <laughs> Tell us about the interior, because that's really what struck my eye when I was looking at it on Friday night. Yeah, yeah, so a really, really talented guy by the name of uh, Dion Tyler, a really good mate, referred him to me, and he actually helps me with my other interiors too. And he did, you know, the conventional standard Pantera interiors are all vinyl. Um, I wanted to upgrade that, so it's all black leather. He came up with a really, really cool design and um, just did the parallel uh, diagonal stitching yep. and just carried that throughout, um, that theme throughout, you know, the door trim seats uh, and also the headliner. So yeah. It does beautiful work. Yeah, the theme, the theme that you carried through actually looks just, it's almost factory but you can tell that it's just a little bit different. Yeah, well, that that was actually Dion's idea. Yeah, it wasn't wasn't mine. He came up with it. Um, but of course, you know, he as soon as he um, did come up with it, I, I was all over it, and I thought, yeah, it it, it does look really really factory. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it works. <laughs> <laughs> and with the uh, with the hot motor, I've noticed you've upgraded the brakes to suit. If you got got big wheels on it you need decent brakes um, because any, anything else looks a bit ordinary. The guys at uh, BHS TBS, yep. they supplied me with a, a set of uh, billet brakes, uh, I think they're 300 mil rotors, uh, six watt calipers and it stops good. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> How was the drive over? Is it a blast? Uh, it'd be even better if it had AC. Um, which is, hasn't been gassed up yet, but um, yeah, it's, it's fun to drive. Um, it's, it's not a, a cruisy car, like it's not a really easy car to drive, but you, you get used to it and it, it really, it's like all old cars, you just get used to the feel. Yep. And um, yeah, I mean, I, I probably wouldn't want to take this to the strip or anything because it would probably miss gears everywhere, but um, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not too bad. 
The finish on the paintwork is just absolutely spotless. It's so, so straight. Yeah, there's been, been a, a couple of couple of people involved. When, when, when we initially pulled it down, the rotisserie, mm -hmm. and I sort of made a start with doing basically, uh, there was, wasn't too, actually there wasn't any rust in the chassis at all, but there was, there was some in the sills and in the radiator uh, support panel, which is pretty standard, mm -hmm. pretty typical for Panteras. Um, doors were good, little bits at the bottom of the screen, all, all pretty typical places. Yep. And then I had a couple of people have, have worked on it, so I've been very fortunate to um, have some really good body guys and paint guys who have worked with me through through the business too. So yeah, awesome. Yeah, they did a did a great job. Particularly, you know, the like the last couple of months, there's been a few little uh, touch-ups that uh, Huey and the boys at uh, 60s Rust have looked after. Yeah. So. <coughs> uh, what's next is. A break. <laughs> well, I got I got to concentrate on the business, um, and yeah, the, I mean, you do something like this in your spare time, and you know, there's there's life that goes on. So I need to get back to family family stuff and kids and grandkids and things like that. But there, there, there'll be something else, you know. I don't know what <laughs> something. <laughs> Can't imagine you could sit still for too long, mate. <laughs> no, I'm not a not a very good relaxer. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, um, yeah, thanks for thanks for running us around the car. And um, as I said to you before, it's just perfect in every way. Every single inch of the car thanks, is mate. just absolutely beautiful, and I love what you've done with it. You know, it's it's subtle, but it's in your face in the same sort of sentence. It's just, yeah, everything about it is um, it's a lot of fun, and it's it's beautiful. I love the finish of it. Thanks, mate. Yeah, I'm, I'm very happy and, and very proud. You do something like this and it, it really is uh, a, a team effort. Um, you know, so there's been, you know, like I, I mentioned, the, the upholsterer um, and the boys from T, uh, BHSS and Huey and the guys from 60s Rust. Uh, and of course, I do want to thank my, my wonderful wife uh, and the family for putting up for me and hearing about the, the bloody Pantera <laughs> for so many years. Um, and yeah, Richie and, Richie and the boys here at uh, Mustang Autos have, have always looked after me. There's not a whole lot of Mustang bits and pieces on this, but I think maybe a couple of O-rings or something. <laughs> There's a small part of Mustang Auto there Parts is, in everyone. There is, there is. <laughs> <laughs>